Okay, this one's about stance. I'm gonna make a little video just to show positions we need to get into for heel turn and toe turn and the effect that stance has on that. So if we're a skier, we're standing straight forward like this. We got two turns, we can reach them both easily. Bang, bang. And the snowboarder's turn position is no different. The only difference is we stand like this. So if we stand with both our feet pointing this way, we find this, which is our toe turn, is very easy to get to. Heel turn, not so much. Get to our toe turn. We've got all this back here. It's no good to us. So that's why we stand, you know, front foot forward, back foot square, we can still get to our toe. We can get more to the heel, but not enough. We can come around. We've got all this excess as well. We don't need it. Forward, forward stance. Still get to your toe. Come around. You can get to the heel, all of it. Back to the toe. Not much excess there that we don't need. So as we come from forward, forward, around to a duck foot, we just lose that ability to get to that heel side position. And you can feel it all up here. It's a great big line up the inside to your left shoulder. Now, if you wanna do this in duck stance, you're gonna to have to increase your flexibility up this line so you can get yourself across to this heel friendly position. And you can do it, humans are flexible animals, man. Look at crabs, they've got one big hand, one little hand. <laughs> you can do anything you want, evolve. So duck footers are gonna have to evolve into some crazy animal that can do all this stuff, but you can do it if you want to. I just can't be bothered. I'll stick with the forward forward stance.